This is crazy, but I just hit a major milestone. I own and operate five newsletters and I have just hit 60 thousand subscribers in my lifestyle newsletter and this one that just hit 60k i only started last summer like that's just just to me that's so many people but no matter if you have hundreds of thousands of subscribers on your list or one person on your list you're still gonna find yourself wondering if your email marketing efforts are even working because unlike on social media where you get a like or a comment from someone that sends a very obvious signal to you that people like what you're posting with email marketing sometimes you're not getting any feedback there's no there's no like button and i know that when you're sending emails sometimes it can feel like you're in the dark if you're not getting much feedback or any sort of instant gratification it can be easy to kind of lose momentum or feel like it's not working when maybe it actually is so today i'm going to share a guide for how to know if your email marketing efforts are actually working what kind of kpis matter how to analyze and really what matters to you what's going to be important and what's not so that you can get the most out of your effort and not waste your time you're listening to the her paper route podcast a show all about money and entrepreneurship with host chelsea clark we encourage you to fearlessly tackle your wildest goals we know that as your own boss you can deliver your unique message and make more paper you just need a plan here's your host chelsea clark what is the most important asset in your business is it your instagram followers or your tiktok followers is it the products you sell is it what people think of you is it how many clients you have nope Although all those things are important, it's not the most important asset in your business. I'll give you a hint. No, I'll just tell you. It's your email list. Your email list is your most important asset in your entire business. The community that you are building around your brand, your email list subscribers, and your newsletter, the content that you send to your email subscribers, that content is what is going to make your subscribers absolutely fall in love with you and basically want to buy everything that you have on offer anytime you release something. If you're familiar with my site, herpaperroot.com, then you've heard me talk about the importance of having an email list millions and millions of times, but I'm going to shout it from the rooftops. It is so important. And I know that list building and having a newsletter, it doesn't sound as cool as building a TikTok following or building an Instagram following. Instagram and TikTok are powerful tools for your business, yes, but you don't own your audience on that platform. You could lose your Instagram account at any time. And posting to your followers on social media, you don't have their email address. You don't have access directly into their home via their inboxes like you do with a newsletter. And if your goal is to sell your business one day, having an engaged email list that comes with the sale of your business is going to increase the value of your business overall, much more than a big social following. I have grown multiple email lists to over 30,000 followers each, some with more than 60,000 followers with primarily organic growth strategies. So we all know how important it is to have an email list and use your newsletter as a source of income for your business, as well as a platform to build your community. But how do you know if your newsletter strategy is working? The right newsletter strategy can transform your business into a marketing powerhouse of engagement and conversion. My newsletter has become one of the most important assets in my business. And over the years, I've gotten better at analyzing the results and understanding what matters and what doesn't. Here's how to do that effectively for your own business. Number one, you're gonna need to define some clear objectives. What success matters for you, it's gonna be different than for someone else. Are you aiming to increase your brand awareness, drive sales, or provide valuable content to build customer loyalty or all of the above? Setting specific measurable goals gives you a benchmark to measure against. Open rate tells you how many people are interested in your content, while the click-through rate shows how engaging and compelling your content really is. Number two, you need to really be aware of key metrics when it comes to newsletters. Keep a close eye on bounce rate, unsubscribe rate, click rate, open rates, all that kind of stuff. Number three, you need to segment your list. As your list grows, you're going to notice different behaviors from different subscribers and someone who's interested in one thing might not be interested in all of your content or all of the offers that you have. So segmenting them into their specific interests is going to help you to make more money down the line because you'll know what they're into. You'll know what kind of 
offers to create and sell to them. Number four is your subscriber growth and engagement. You need to be aware of this too. So a growing subscriber list is a good indicator of a healthy newsletter strategy, but more important than sheer numbers is how engaged your subscribers actually are. Are they interacting with your content? Are they replying to your emails? Are they providing feedback or sharing your newsletters with others? High engagement typically equates to a more effective newsletter strategy. So this should be a goal that you want to aim for. Number five is to look at your newsletter from the reader's perspective. All too often we get caught up in our own brains and we think that everything we put out is going to be well received and everyone, everyone's going to love it because we love it, but we're looking at it as the business owner. It's going to be different for the person who's on the receiving end. So before you hit send, send a test email to yourself and read that email as if you're them. Do a deep dive into the content of your newsletter and look at it from the perspective of the reader. Which topics or types of content are getting the most engagement? Are educational articles or timely news updates or is it promotional offers that are getting the most attention from your readers? Nine times out of 10, I bet it's going to be that your story-based emails are getting the most attention because anytime I send a newsletter that's very story-based coming from my personal experience and not specifically related to business where I'm sprinkling in something about my personal life, those are the ones that really resonate with my audience and they're also really fun to write. So don't feel Feel like you always have to be just all business and only talk about your niche, your subscribers probably want to hear about you, the human too. So if you can tie those two things together, tell a personal story that leads into the main topic of your newsletter and then brings back the story at the end somehow, those are going to be really engaging newsletters that people like to read. Next, you should be surveying your audience and literally asking them what type of content they want to see and hear about from you. You can use things like Google Forms or Typeform, or you can use a quiz, or you can just include a question right in your newsletter and ask people to hit reply and tell you. People love to get to share their opinion. People love when they get to take part in the story of a brand. So be sure to include your community in your brand's growth. Next, don't be too proud to analyze your unsubscribe rate. This is going to be important. I know nobody wants when you're new to list building. It's like, ah, oh, like it hurts the heart when you see people unsubscribe after you send a newsletter. It's like, oh, it sucks. But it actually doesn't suck. It's actually a good thing. Yes, it might like knock your ego a little bit, but it's actually better for your business and better for your email delivery rates. If those people unsubscribe, I mean, it's kind of a good thing when you think about it. When people unsubscribe, they're just not interested in what your brand offers. It's better that they unsubscribe because then you can just speak to the people who are interested. And that data of unsubscribes, that's valuable to you because you can learn from that. Now, it could be a sign of irrelevant content or too frequent emails or other areas that need adjustment, or it could just be that they're not that into your content, just not that into you. And good riddance, you don't need those people on your list anyway. And while losing a subscriber here and there is totally normal, if you have a high rate of unsubscribers, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people are unsubscribing from each newsletter, that could be a sign that something could be wrong. You're gonna, you might need to do a little bit of work. So analyze the feedback from those unsubscribing subscribers to really understand what might be turning them off. Is it the frequency of the emails, the content or something else? One of my favorite marketing tips is to subscribe to competitor newsletters. Like go find who all of your brand's competitors are and sign up for their newsletters. Sign up, get on their list and read them. When they send their newsletters, open them, read them and study them because how they are selling, how they are telling stories, how they are positioning their brand in the marketplace, it's so, so much golden nuggets can be found just inside their newsletter. And no, this is not about copying your competitors or anyone, we don't want to do that. That is not what I'm saying, but rather learning from their strategies and then adapting those strategies to your own. And the next tip is it's really important to stay on top of industry changes in email marketing and rules and laws. There's a lot that goes into it, whether it's new tools, techniques, or changes in spam laws and regulations. As an email marketer, you need to be aware of this. And then you're going to want to monitor long-term engagement trends and adapt. 
So stay in the habit of analyzing those long-term trends that your subscribers are, are doing and keep an eye on how engagement changes over time. Are certain types of content consistently performing well? Is engagement dropping off after a few emails? Are certain strategies consistently working better than others? Adapting your newsletter strategy based on these long-term events is really a helpful key in the long-term success of your newsletter. And finally, you need to celebrate your wins, big or small. Did you get a higher than average open rate on your last newsletter? Or did a subscriber reply and send feedback that they loved your email? Celebrate that. Save those positive emails because these moments are proof that your efforts are paying off. Knowing if your newsletter strategy is working is not just about the numbers and KPIs. It's really about understanding what those numbers mean for your specific business goals. Keep testing, keep learning, and stay consistent with it. Keep on sending those newsletters. Because the most successful email marketers are those who listen, who learn, who adapt, and most importantly, who don't give up. And now to take your list building efforts to the next step, I invite you to check out my email marketing course. This program is ideal for entrepreneurs, business owners, and content creators who are ready to build an engaged, loyal email list of super fans. People who actively open and engage with your newsletters and open up their wallet when you have something to sell. You don't need to have a huge advertising budget in order to build your list. You can start using free tools, using free strategies, all of which I teach in this email marketing program. In this program, you are getting my step-by-step -step strategies to understand exactly how to start, grow, nurture, and monetize an email list. And a lot of things that other email marketing programs leave out, I don't. I actually show you how to step-by-step -step set up an email funnel, actually multiple types of email funnels, so that you can attract and convert leads from anywhere. In this program, you will learn how to craft compelling newsletters that engage and convert including strategies for growing and maintaining a healthy email list, tips to optimize your email campaigns for maximum impact, and strategies for crafting emails that your audience anticipates 